All right, one of the things that you'll need to do with your district issued iPad is you're gonna to need to create an Apple ID or an iTunes account. Um, that's gonna be the key that you use to log in and get access to a lot of the content that Apple will provide, but it'll also allow you to do uh, backups of all the data on your iPad. So if it's ever lost, stolen, or damaged, and we need to swap it out for whatever reason, you can actually restore that device and you won't lose your documents or your settings. So uh, to kind of show you this process, I'm just going to tap on settings and I'm going to tap on iCloud. Now I'm already logged in here. Um, if you haven't created an account and haven't logged in, uh, you can do so from the screen that would be here. Uh, if you don't have an Apple ID, you can tap on the section that says create a free Apple ID and then walk through that process. Uh, you have to be 13 or older. If you are younger, you're gonna need your parents to walk you through that process. Um, when you do create that account, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you keep track of the information you use in your security questions. Your iCloud, your Apple ID is not a district controlled account. It's between you and Apple. So if there's any troubleshooting that you need to do, you're gonna to need to contact Apple and they'll ask you for your security questions and the information that you provide during the setup of that account. So please make sure that you know that information because you might need it in the future. So here I am, you can see my iCloud account, I am signed in, and there's a whole bunch of different settings on here. Uh, one of the things I wanna point out, the very first setting on here for mail, uh, this is not your district issued mail, this isn't your MASD Blue Raiders account, this is if you create an Apple ID and you choose to create one of their free email accounts, this will regulate that. So uh, by default we have that turned off, Contacts, it will save your contacts to the cloud and you can access them from other devices. Same things with calendars and reminders. Now right now I have Safari turned off, but if you have uh, Safari running on any of your other devices, you can use your iCloud account to sync the bookmarks from Safari across all of those devices. If you have another device, you can also sync notes in a similar process. Now, keychains, right now it's turned off. Um, if you have other Apple products and you want to save your passwords across those devices, keychain is the way that you want to do that. Um, I do have my photos turned on, so if I take a picture on here, it will upload it through iCloud so I can access it on other devices that I use. Um, but the ones that we feel are very important that we need you to have turned on is make sure that you have turned on documents and data, and also that you have turned on Find My iPad. Um, this way, if you ever lose your iPad or you know you accidentally misplace it within the building, we can log in to iCloud and we'll have you do this process. Again, we don't control your account, you do, um, but you can use this to help get a general location as to where that device is or the last time it checked onto a Wi-Fi network. Now, the other thing you need to have set up on here is the storage and backup, so I'm going to tap on that. You automatically get five gigs of free space from Apple. And um, that five gigs of free space it allows you to do your backups. If you have other devices tied to this Apple ID, um, you might get pretty close to filling up that five gigs pretty quick. Uh, but from here, all you need to do is make sure that where it says iCloud backup in this region right here, make sure that that is turned on. This says that it'll automatically back your camera roll, your accounts, documents, and settings when this iPad is plugged in, locked, and connected to a Wi-Fi. If you have never gone through the backup process, you will want to tap where it says backup now. You'll see here that my last backup was at 7.02 a.m. today. Um, this is a process you want to make sure that you check to make sure it's working pretty well because like I said before, if you ever um, lose your iPad or you ever need to swap out and use a different iPad, you can always restore directly from this backup. 